Paul, if I could open up my heart so you can see the big smile that is on it. It's about time that the world actually sees uh, what the continent has to offer. Tell us what the big idea uh, behind this was and why it was so important for you to, to start it. So there are two ideas. I mean, the first idea is the photography legacy project, and, and thanks for um, connecting with us. So um, essentially, I, the idea of the photography legacy project is to make African photography visible, searchable, and um, accessible to the world. And we've just seen so many collections, so many archives leave the country, leave the, the continent, and to be, you know, uh, reposited in, in, in overseas institutions. So through this digital platform, we are making this material accessible to, to us in, in the country and in, in, in the continent. And the, the second idea is to have an auction that celebrates African photography and also helps support African photographers and helps support the cause of the, the PLP, the Photography Legacy Project. Which, which had its launch and is just behind me, as you can see. Tell us about some of the photographers and the countries that are covered uh, in this project. So, um, besides luminaries like David Goldblatt, Alf Kamalo, some, um, Ernest Cole, some of the drum photographers from South Africa, we've also reached out to photographers on the continent, and we have... Um, a, a divergent group from, from young to emergent to established. Uh, photographers like Nipa Dennis from Ghana, Ala Kier from Sudan, um, Suya uh, Kayambi from, from Kenya are amongst, uh, are, are joined forces with us down here in the southern tip of Africa. On the issue of rights, who do these um, images uh, belong to and do they actually benefit the artists? In the event of an artist no longer being with us, uh, who do the proceeds go to? So um, all these photographers are copyright owners of their own material. Um, some of the photographers have passed on uh, and in the case of Ernest Cole, the collection is owned by the Ernest Cole family. The same is, uh, applies to Alf Kamalo, David Goldblatt, and, and a number of others. So uh, generally, photographers who, who passed on, the material then reverts to the family or the family trust. What has been the reaction to the project and what you're trying to achieve? Well, the um, response to our initial invitation has been extraordinary. Um, people just uh, came with an incredible spirit and enthusiasm, and we've been overwhelmed. And, and so the outcome of that has been this, this beautiful collection that we put up together now, and it's a catalog, and um, it's an auction, and so people can actually buy African photography uh, on the continent for the first time. I can't imagine it had been an easy process, especially when you look at the number of countries uh, that you cover uh, on the continent, as well as all the different artists. What was that process like of putting this catalog uh, together and reaching out uh, to some of those artists? Like uh, rolling up a rock up a mountain, you know the experience, or being in big surf uh, with huge waves coming at you. Um, it's, it's been yeah, a huge learning curve, and we've, you know, we've had to make contact with people who don't always have um, a visible presence on, on, online. So we, we, we've had to put a, a huge amount of effort in just to communicate, get to people, and then, of course, all the, the, the rest of the things that come with it, you know, the more detailed things about that, that every auction house needs, you know, the size of the print, the material, so there's been a lot of, you know, to and fro, but people have been very generous, and we've got the, got, we've got the rock up the mountain. 
you, you flowed with the tide, uh, no matter how difficult it didn't drown you. Yeah. And we're quite grateful because this is going on until uh, the 5th of November. It is the first inaugural one. Uh, you look forward to many more and possibly, you know, expanding to more countries and getting uh, more artists. Why is it so important that we own um, our art, our stories uh, as a continent? Well, that's so pertinent. I mean, if you look at the historical uh, trajectory of, of um, African photography, I mean, we were colonized, and most of these collections are outside of the country. You know, you'll find them in the British Museum, or the Smithsonian, or some uh, wealthy universities. And, you know, it's, it's well overdue that these collections come back. And even if they come back digitally, um, we don't necessarily have to repatriate them physically. They can come back digitally and we can interact with our history, we can interact with our past. It's just like 101. What does photography mean to you? Uh, what does a picture mean to you? Well, I'm essentially a photographer. I mean, that's, that's how I started. And I, I got involved in archives formally 15 years ago. Um, and, you know, luckily for my mother, I you know, found a real job. But, um, uh, you know, photography f for me is, is many, many things. I mean, on one level, it's the first draft of history. But it's, it's a beautiful way to interact with the world. I mean, it's, it's a privileged space that we can tell stories from, we can share experiences, and we can just, you know, essentially, you know, learn and... and communicate with others and inform the world of what's going on. Um, it's, it's for me, yeah, it's all those things. Um, photography is, is, is so, so connected to our memory, our social history, our sense of ourselves and identity. Paul, a big congratulations to you and the team. Magwande, uh, that's the founder of the Photography Legacy Project, Paul Weinberg.